Warning consumers tonight about what they say are problems in breakfast cereals. Channel 7's Ashley Butler joins us with the story. Ashley. Moms across America tested their first cereal, General Mix Tricks Loaded, and they claim they found alarming levels of neurotoxins and carcinogens. Moms Across America is pushing for a healthier America. The problem right now with current U.S. policy is that they are not regulating heavy metal exposure in our food supply uh, sufficiently. The nonprofit saying their tests are showing high levels of heavy metals like cadmium and aluminum. Both heavy metals and pesticides have been found to be carcinogenic and to be linked to uh, neurological and development developmental disorders that can be lifelong and permanent. So we are extremely concerned about the connection to, you know, autism, behavioral disorders, learning disorders, mental health issues. One out of five people in America now have mental health issues. Also testing 43 school lunch samples and popular fast food chains across the country. Moms Across America tested 43 school lunch samples, and we also tested the top 20 fast food restaurants this year and found, in fact, for them to be more uh, to, to contain more toxins than nutrients. So we highly encourage parents to buy organic as much as possible. And 10 of the most popular fast food chains containing harmful antibiotics. We found 100% of the fast food places positive for heavy metals, 100% positive for glyphosate. The highest levels of glyphosate was actually Panera Bread, which is very concerning because they, you know, do claim to have clean, wholesome food. We found a, um, a av aviary contraceptive in Chick-fil-A sandwiches that, you know, that actually prevents the laying of eggs. So we're very concerned about females eating the Chick-fil-A sandwiches. Moms Across America is urging consumers to contact their local representatives and push for legislation to keep these toxins out of our food. The founding executive says that children are particularly impacted by the presence of heavy metals and chemicals. On your side in the newsroom, I'm Ashley Butler. Okay, Ashley, thanks. We did reach out to General Mills for a comment on the claims made by Moms Across America, but we are yet to hear back.